uh, exponential growth here. So imagine we have our principal amount of $3,000 being invested at 8.5% interest, and we're going to suppose that it's being compounded annually. How many full years will it take to accumulate $6,500 or more? Okay, so the formula, just as a reminder for, uh, for exponential growth, is of the form A equals some kind of initial amount, and then there's a multiplier here that usually is a 1 plus an interest rate, and then that's raised to the number of years. Okay, this can change a little bit if you have interest that's compounded more than once a year, uh, but we're going to just assume that it's going with this because we are compounded annually, so we can keep this one a little bit simpler. Okay, so in this particular problem, we have a uh, desire to get at least $6,500 with $3,000 initially. So our setup is going to be something like $3,000 to begin with. That's our principal amount. We're going to multiply by 1 plus the interest rate. And the interest rate is 8.5%, which means it's 0 0.085 when we convert into a decimal. So 1 plus the interest rate would be 1.085, and then that will be raised to the power of t, and we wish for this to be larger than or equal to $6,500. Okay, first step, let's divide both sides by $3,000. So that way on the left, we have 1.085 to the power of t, and on the right, I'm not even going to bother with any simplification here because we'll probably need to break out a calculator anyway. So we'll just call it 6,500 over 3,000. Now in order to get variables out of exponents, our standard way of doing this would be logarithms. So I'm now going to perform a logarithm to both sides. I'm going to have ln of 1.085 to the power of t bigger than or equal to ln of 6,500 over 3,000. I always like LNs, it takes less writing, but it doesn't matter which logarithm you use, it's always going to come out to be the same. Okay, now, because of logarithm rules, it can take that t exponent and pull it out in front, so we'd have t ln 1.085 bigger than or equal to ln of 6,500 over 3,000, and then that means that we just simply need t to be bigger than or equal to ln 6,500 over 3,000, all of this divided by ln of 1.085. Now, of course, I can't do this without a calculator. I can't do that in my head. So I'm going to break up my calculator now and perform that arithmetic. And here is my calculator. And the problem that I needed to discover was I need to calculate ln of, what was it, it was 6,500 divided by 3,000, and then divide that by the ln of 1.085, 1.085. Okay, so it looks like our calculator is telling us it's 9.477, 9.477 so we need t to be bigger than 9.477 and we need a number of full years so my final answer here would be t equals 10 I need to wait at least 10 years okay so given that process why don't you try to do one on your own here pause the video and see if you can do this problem assuming you gave it a good old shot here let's do it together we have a principal this time of three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars we wish to put this in a bank account that is earning 4% interest. So inside of the parentheses here, we're going to have a 1.04 raised to the power of t, representing the number of years. And I wish for this to be at least $5,000. OK, first step, the division step. We'll divide both sides by 3,250. So that 1.04 to the power of t should be bigger than or equal to 5,000 over 3,250. Next step, break out the logarithm. So now we're going to do logarithm. 1.04 to the power of t needs to be bigger than or equal to logarithm. 5,000 divided by 3,250. Okay, 
Now we're going to take the exponent and pull it out in front by logarithm rules. So t multiplied by ln of 1.04 should be bigger than or equal to the ln of 5,000 divided by 3,250. So that would mean that after dividing both sides, we'd now have the t would need to be bigger than or equal to ln of 5,000 divided by 3,250 all over ln of 1.04. So again, let's break out the calculator, see what we're getting here. So in the calculator, we're going to now calculate ln of 5,000 divided by 3,250. And then we're going to divide that by the ln of 1.04. And the answer that we get from the calculator is 10.98. And therefore, with the 10.98, we need t to be bigger than or equal to 10.98. And so we'll give an answer of t equals 11. We'll need to wait at least 11 years.